Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Uh, chapter 23, Gauss law, problem number 21. Okay, problem 21. Let me read out the problem. An isolated conductor has a, has net charge plus 10 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb and a cavity with a charge of uh, Q equal to plus 3 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb. What is the charge on part A, the cavity wall and the outer surface, part B? So, uh, we are given some metallic body with some cavity there, okay. Uh, total charge of the metallic body is plus 10 into 10 to the power minus 6. Now, we know charge on a metallic body is only distributed on the surfaces, okay. So, we have two surfaces for this metallic body, the outer surface and this inner surface, okay, inner sur surface of this wall. Now, this total charge will be distributed on these two walls, how we are going to find out. And we have a charge Q in the cavity and that Q is given plus 3 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb. Okay, so we have to find out charge on the inner surface of the conductor and charge on the outer surface of the conductor. Uh, I'm, I'm just uh, representing charge of inner surface by Q1 and charge of outer surface by Q2 which simply means Q1 plus Q2 is total charge of the conductor which is capital Q. So, this is Q1 plus Q2, okay. So, we already have one equation between the two unknown charges Q1 and Q2. Now, we'll first find out charge on the inner surface, okay. We'll find out charge on the inner surface. Now, for that, uh, we'll use Gauss law. You must be aware of uh, this while going through this chapter of Gauss law that field inside a metallic body field inside a metallic body, electrostatic field inside a metallic body is always zero. At every point inside the material of the metal, inside the meat of the metal, it is zero, not inside the cavity. We are not sure about the cavity, okay. We are sure about the meat of the metal, inside the metal field is zero, okay. Inside the metal field is zero. Now, that is what we are going to use. Uh, remember Gauss law is uh, flux through a closed surface which is integral e dot dA over a closed surface is equal to Q enclosed divided by epsilon 0, okay, Q enclosed divided by epsilon 0. Now, what I'll do is I'll consider a Gauss surface like this. This is a Gaussian surface, maybe spherical or whatever the shape, okay, whatever the shape. But we have to be sure that every part of the Gauss surface is lying inside the meat of the metal. Okay, inside the meat of the metal. Reason? Because we know at every point inside the meat of the metal, field is zero. And if field is zero at every point inside the meat of the metal, then this integral is zero, meaning flux through that closed surface is zero. And if flux through the closed surface is zero, that means charge enclosed by the closed surface is zero. So this thing is zero, so Q enclosed must be zero. Now, it is charge enclosed by this Gaussian surface we, which we have uh, drawn here. This is the Gaussian surface. It contains two charges inside it. One is charge Q that is in the cavity and the other is charge Q1 on the inner surface of this metallic body. So, total charge enclosed is Q1 plus Q. So, total charge enclosed is Q1 plus Q and which must be equal to 0 because Q enclosed is equal to 0. This means Q1 is equal to minus Q and Q we already know is plus 3 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb. So, charge on the inner surface which we have represented by Q1 is equal to minus 3 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulombs. Okay, minus 3 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulombs. Note that charge on the inner surface has nothing, nothing at all to do with the total charge of the conductor. It has nothing to do with the total charge of the conductor. If there were no charge inside the cavity, there won't be any charge on the inner surface of the conductor because charge on the inner surface is equal to negative of the charge contained in the cavity. So, if there is no charge in the cavity, there is no charge on the inner surface. Is that fine? So, uh, uh, whatever the charge inside the cavity, negative of that charge is on the inner surface having nothing to do with the total charge of the conductor. Now we have to find out the charge on the outer surface of the conductor and we already know that Q1 plus Q2 charge on the inner surface 
plus charge on the outer surface, which is total charge of the conductor that is given here 10 into 10 to the power minus 6. So, we'll use that equation now. So, Q1 plus Q2 is given is 10 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulombs. We'll substitute the value of Q1, which is minus 3 into 10 to the power minus 6. So, first I'll shift Q1 there. So, Q2 is 10 into 10 to the power minus 6 minus uh, Q1. Q1 is minus 3 into 10 to the power minus 6. So, minus 3 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulombs. So, minus minus is plus 10 plus 3 is 13. So, this is 13 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulombs. So, a simple exercise on Gauss law. Okay, a simple exercise on Gauss law. Charge on the outer surface is 13 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulombs and charge on the inner surface is minus 3 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulombs. Fine? That will do for this session.